Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA video, we're going to be talking about 15 huge changes that Rockstar made to the GTA trilogy, the definitive edition yesterday when they released a brand new patch update version 1.03. We'll be talking about those changes in this video today. I want to begin with something that Rockstar announced yesterday, and that is that the release dates for the physical versions of Grand Theft Auto the Trilogy, the Definitive Edition, have changed. So now the Xbox Series X slash Xbox One and PlayStation physical versions will release on December 17th instead of December 7th, and the Nintendo Switch version is coming in early 2022 check your local retailer for availability. So that is the announcement that they made. In case you guys really wanted the physical versions, they will still be here right before the holiday season, but they are going to be pushed back a little bit. Again, 10 days, it was going to come out on December 7th. And if you have the Nintendo Switch, you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer in order to get that physical version. So that's the announcement they made. And then they made a ton of changes on the patch notes, which I'll leave a link to in the description if you guys wanna take a look at it for yourself. Today, we're gonna to be going over all of the highlights, the big things that you'll end up noticing when you play all three of these games, GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas. So let's get started. One of the biggest things that Rockstar fixed was the rain. It looked like you were playing in the Amazon rainforest. The rain was so intense, it was so heavy, it made it basically impossible to see so Rockstar have now fixed it where the rain is no longer so intense. It looks way more realistic. And they have also fixed a number of instances where rain would appear indoors during cutscenes. This happened a lot, especially in Grand Theft Auto 3, like in the mission Cutting the Grass, Liberator, Cipriani's Chauffeur, Bomb to Base Act 1. Those are just a few missions in Grand Theft Auto 3 where the rain was an issue in Vice City, Publicity Tour, Aloe, Wheels of Steel, 2-Bit Hit. Those are some uh, missions in Grand Theft Auto Vice City where the rain was becoming an issue. So long story short, Rockstar did a lot with the rain, not only to make it better in free roam, but during missions as well where it was weirdly playing inside. And that obviously should not be the case. So that's the issue with the rain. Another thing they did was they ended up changing a lot of the characters, in particular, old Reese from GTA San Andreas. He now actually looks old. He's got his proper hair back. Look at old Reese. He looks like he did back in the day. I, I think Rockstar has a lot of work to do on just more than him, but this is a good start because old Reese was one of those characters where you were just like, how did the clock get turned backwards? How did he get younger? I mean, his name is Old Reese, so he needs to have his gray hairs, which he now does again in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, so that's quite nice. Another thing that they ended up doing is they fixed the running animations, particularly for CJ in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, because in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, you can change your physique. You can obviously be fat or in shape, or you can have other things like sex appeal, and so the animations for running are now fixed and different. So that's awesome because they used to be the same, which should not be the case when you're a different weight and size, etc. So good job, Rockstar, on fixing that. Another thing they ended up fixing was the sound effects for each menu. So the way Rockstar had it in the past, they used the Grand Theft Auto San Andreas sound effects for all three games, which was kind of weird because in the original ones, they had their own unique sounds for GTA 3, Vice City, and of course, San Andreas. Well, now they've changed it and it sounds like this, which is much better. So I'm not sure why that wasn't there from the very beginning, but at least Rockstar have fixed it now. In Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, they've also added a ground haze option, which adds fog to lower areas of the map if you're high up in a building or if you're in a plane or a jet or something like that. This is a really good fix because how it worked previously is they took away like the fog, which was there in the first place because 
the game physically couldn't load in the map, like when you were playing on a PlayStation 2. Well, now that's not an issue, but when they removed the fog, it made the map look very unrealistic, basically because you could see from coast to coast. So now they've added the ground haze option back. It adds some fog into the game, so it makes it look a lot more realistic. So that's really good right there by Rockstar. Another thing they have added back to the game is cinematic camera. So this was just completely missing. I don't know why it was not there from day one, but it has been restored in the new patch. So whether you're playing GTA 3, Vice City, or San Andreas, you can now activate the cinematic camera, which is really cool. Rockstar also fixed a handful of missions that had bugs in them. One of the most iconic ones was from Vice City. It was the mission Gunrunner. So there was an issue where crates could not be destroyed, which would ultimately prevent you from gaining any game progression. So like you could not progress through the story because you could not complete the mission due to these bugs. A handful of them have been fixed in Vice City. A handful have been fixed in San Andreas and Grand Theft Auto 3 as well. So a lot of mission bugs have now been squashed. You can now also disable the white outline that comes around targets. So this is in the graphics category you can just hit disable target outline. This is kind of nice. This is a new feature they added, but not everyone seems to love it. Now you have the option to turn it off, which is good. Thank you, Rockstar, for giving us the option. Now, another thing they ended up fixing was a handful of misspellings. So some popular ones that you might have noticed was the Welcome to Vice City billboard near the airport. There was also an error with the Shaft hot dog stand logo in the North Point Mall. In GTA Vice City, in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, they fixed a spelling error with the storefront Sayonara. So you can just see that there's real changes that they ended up making. Uh, they even improved the resolution of the signs on taxi front doors in Grand Theft Auto 3. So a number of misspellings on texture art and signage that Rockstar ended up fixing. So that just cleans things up, which is quite nice. They also fixed a handful of the props in game. So there's three examples in particular here that I think are pretty interesting. Number one, they fixed a bug where the burger on the burger shot sign was not spinning. These are all in GTA San Andreas. They also fixed an issue with the shape of the donut and nut props at the Tough Nuts Donut Shop. It is now in the shape of a donut and an actual nut, whereas before it was not. And they also fixed an issue where the UFO prop did not rotate at the Lil Probe Inn. So lots of props they ended up fixing, shapes they ended up tweaking. I know that really doesn't seem like a big deal, but to hardcore GTA fans, and those are just the ones in San Andreas, uh, this was a big deal to have those added back and fixed up. Now, one thing they did from GTA Vice City is they ended up fixing the Rockstar logo. That's right, as you guys know, in Diaz's mansion, which becomes Tommy Versetti's mansion, the Rockstar Games logo was not right. It had like six star points. Now it is the actual Rockstar logo, which has been fixed. So good on Rockstar or Grove Street Games for getting their logo right in GTA Vice City. There's also a handful of clothing glitches that were fixed as well. Like, for example, you would notice NPCs that had, like, a, jer a basketball jersey on, per se, and you could see that there was, like, a, a number underneath their number. Well, that has now been fixed, so quite nice. They've cleaned up some clothing glitches that kind of made the game feel just a little bit like, ooh, they rushed this out the door. So they've cleaned that up, which is really cool. And last but not least today, the only other thing that I have noticed is it looks like vehicles in GTA 3 and Vice City now take longer to blow up at higher frame rates. So that's kind of a cool change that now your vehicles won't blow up instantly and it'll give you a chance to escape from them without them just blowing up immediately and every time you flipped a car, you'd basically die because it would explode on you. So those are roughly the 15 big changes that I have noticed in Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, the definitive edition that Rockstar ended up making with patch 1.03. Again, this came out the other day. I will leave a link to it in the description so you guys can take a look at all the patch notes for yourself. But those were the highlights right there, and that's everything that I thought was pretty important to end up covering. But I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. 
Let me know what you think of the changes that Rockstar ended up putting out so far in version 1.03. Do you think these changes were good, bad, somewhere in between? Do you not care about them? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.